Hey guys, it's Jake Biggie Mills, and today we're going to be doing a special video. So, the high school uh, basketball season just wrapped up. Now, as something I want to incorporate here on the channel and as a future career, I want to cover high school sports um, here in the 570 um, District 2 area and hopefully branch off and build off of that and uh, work my way up from there in sports media and, uh, you know, running a media group. So, I have started um, pretty recently with covering some high school basketball here on the part of TJ2400s on the Instagram page and Twitter. And along with that, I am a huge, as you know, stadium and arena fan. So, um, I have a notebook of every single stadium and arena I visited. And I also keep track of high school um, gymnasiums and high school football stadiums and stuff. Um, I do have one softball one here because it was a neutral site. Um, but um, one of my, you know, long-term kind of things, I guess, with this whole high, covering high school sports is to see a game at all 39 PIAA District 2 basketball gyms and all 30 District 2 football stadiums, which I think would be something kind of cool to achieve, you know, keeping track of that. I, I find that fun because uh, there's some pretty nice gyms and pretty nice stadiums in the area and the district. Um, so um, I started keeping track of basketball um, this season. And um, I, I have this plan the whole season, but the season has concluded and I visited um, a total of 10 out of 39. So we're gonna be doing our rankings. And this is as of the conclusion of the 2022-23 season. Um, we are gonna be ranking the District 2 gyms I have visited from worst to best. Um, so 10 to one. So uh, let's get into it here, shall we? Coming in at number 10 is the Holy Cross High School Gymnasium at Holy Cross High School in Dunmore. Now, you know, I feel bad ranking Holy Cross last on this list. Definitely not the worst in District 2 probably, but out of the 10 I've been to, this is definitely the worst one for sure. Um, my girlfriend uh, just wrapped up her senior year as a cheerleader for Holy Cross, so I've been to multiple games here. So this is one of the gyms on here I've seen multiple games at. And, um, you know, it's very hot in this gym. I've sweated like crazy every time I've sat in this gym. And everything is just so close. Like, you literally have to walk on the court to enter this place and to get to your seat. But it is an awesome atmosphere, very intimate. And it's a very community-based school, which I really like as well. But at least it's not as bad as your football stadium, Holy Cross. Good Lord, that is a train wreck. Wow. Coming in at number nine is the Wyoming Area Secondary Center Gymnasium at Wyoming Area High School now. This one I think is deserving. Now, the court does look very nice. I will give it that. But these bleachers, man. Oh, when I tell you it hurt, it hurt to sit on these. It really did. Um, but again, these are just out of the 10 I've been to. Um, there's definitely worse than this that I haven't seen yet. Coming in at number eight is the Mid Valley High School Gymnasium in Troop PA at Mid Valley High School. Now, I looked at pictures of this gym before I went to a game here. I actually saw them play Holy Cross. And um, I thought, you know what? This is a beautiful gym. I walk in. I was a little bit disappointed. It wasn't. It doesn't look as nice as it does in the pictures. Um, I do like the colors of this gym. I really do. I love that roof as well. But it was a little underwhelming for me, honestly, um, going into this place. But again, this is only out of the 10 I've been to. There's definitely worse. Coming in at number seven is the Wyoming Valley West High School Gymnasium at Wyoming Valley West High School. Now, this one isn't terrible. Um, the court is definitely older. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that WVW logo in the middle. Um, and overall, I mean, it's not great, but it's also not terrible. Not much to say here. Coming in at number six is the Elio Gingerelli Gymnasium at Old Forge High School in Old Forge, PA. Now, this one I actually really liked, honestly. Um, the one thing that's crazy about this that it's only two colors, literally only two colors throughout the entire gym. It's the gold and uh, navy blue, which I get it. It's the school colors, but there is no other color contrast in this building at all. And you know what's funny? The court is actually named after the current Pittston area boys head coach, Al Semenza, as he was a legendary coach at Old Forge High School, which is pretty crazy. And I did see the Pittston area boys play there. Coming in at number five is the Sil Bozinski Gymnasium at Greater Nanticoke Area High School in Nanticoke. Now this gym is something I don't really have much to say on. Um, one thing I really like is the GNA on the bleachers and the game I saw here was really good as well. It was a third place state game. So whoever won went to states and Nanticoke did eventually get the state bid beating Tunkanic. 
So there's a good game I did see here. But overall, it's a pretty average gym and um, a couple nice amenities. Coming in at number four is my current high school, Pittston Area High School, the Thomas R. Kelly Gymnasium. Now this gym, um, literally just as soon as I'm making this video, they actually started today. They are tearing down the bleachers and replacing them with brand new ones. And they are putting a smaller section of bleachers behind the basket as well. So there's going to be some renovations here at the Thomas R. Kelly Gymnasium. But right now, I think it's a pretty nice place. Um, there was a couple recent renovations a couple years ago, a new court, new scoreboards, and they changed the banners for all the championships and uh, a lot of great memories here and overall a pretty nice gym. Coming in at number three is the Peter Taronis Memorial Gymnasium at Carbondale Area High School. Now this gym I really, really liked. Um, it's very big, um, lots of, uh, both sides of the bleachers are very, very large. Um, and it's an older looking gym, the bleachers are a little older, but um, overall I really, really like this place. Coming in at number two, this may shock some people, but the Holy Redeemer High School Gymnasium at Holy Redeemer High School in wilkes -Barre is in my top two. I personally love this gym when I saw a game here. Um, I love the big scoreboard here, as you can see on the screen. I still don't know what that says on the bottom or what it's supposed to be, but whatever. It's a really big and nice scoreboard. I love the all red bleachers, the red and black. Um, absolutely love it, and um, I really enjoyed um, going to this gym for sure. And now time for our number one. And coming in at number one is the Mycel Gymnasium at Scranton High in Scranton, PA. This is probably one of the best gyms in District 2, probably top three. Um, you have the second deck of seating, um, the Knights on the uh, bleachers. I love names and abbreviations on bleachers, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Um, but yeah, this is just a beautiful gym, very big, um, a very cool place to watch a game. And the other Scranton school, West Scranton also plays here, but that's also because their gymnasium looks like this and seats less people than Holy Cross. And I heard, I'm not too sure, but it's not playable, but the girls do play there, but the boys play at Scranton High. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fact check that one because if the girls play there, then it must be okay. All right, well, that wraps it up for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below what your favorite gym was on this video. And also comment down below, if you are from the area, your favorite gym in District 2 that you have visited. And also, for next season, when I'm covering games and going to them as a spectator, hopefully, comment down below what school I should pay a visit to or um, cover a game for, what gyms I should see. Let me know because I will definitely make it a note to go. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.